Hi guys! Hi! So today we're going to be doing a grayscale challenge. So basically, we're going to draw, make the entire drawing with all like the shading and everything in black and white. And then we'll give the drawing to the other person and they'll use some color adjustment layers to put the drawing in color. Okay, so first it's going to be me doing the black and white version. So let's go. Yes! So it was a very interesting process, and I had really questionable pro uh, proportions <laughs> in the God beginning. God but I decided to like not really fix it and just go for it because uh, since it was all black and white, I just paint over everything I'd done. Trust the process. Yeah, she looks less goblin than in the very beginning. Yeah. But I, I really just like kept going, and when I didn't like it, I just kept going. Dude, it's like the, the circles around the eyes that get me. <laughs> yeah, look, a big shadow. OMG. But it's pretty different from our, both of our usual processes because yeah. usually we like just try to fix the sketch, and then when it's like completely right, then we'll fill in the colors and then do shading. But in this one, I was like fixing the proportions as I went, but I also did the shading. I thought these flowers were cool. I think I was trying to distract myself from how the face looked kind of weird. They're really questionable flowers. It's flashing. Wow. Oh. Rip the bottom of her hair. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She's going. She's, She's going. pretty though. Thank you. I, it was also interesting because everything was on the same layer. So if I wanted to um, like change her face shape, I would either have to erase the side of her face or like change her hair. Oh, and yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the ba her back in the reference I was using, it made no sense. So actually at the end, I just enlarged the whole thing and uh, her, her back is nowhere <laughs> to be found. But as you can see, as I keep going and adjusting stuff, she she's looking slightly more like a human. Yeah, that's pretty cool. cool yeah, background stuff. Her eyebrows are bumpy, but it's slowly getting less bumpy. <laughs> I also don't think I use much um, blending, which is something I do too much of in my usual drawing. So that's pretty oh, cool. Yeah, I do the struggle. Yeah, trying to get those highlights in that hair. Mm. Wow, very cool. It really helped with like. What is it like the different values though, and like deciding on how dark or light it was because you had to actually make a difference. Yeah, when you wanted to move something though, a struggle. It would leave a hole in yeah. their face. Yeah. Look, her back. I, I was I was thinking of covering it with a flower. <laughs> like, yeah. Look at me. I'm so confused. I'm I'm very I'm <laughs> very confused. Wow. Highlights on the corners of her eyes. Mm. Very nice. Um. I yeah, think that it's going. It's like straps or something. Yeah, I, it was straps, and I'm like, what do I do? Do I cover it with hair? And now, like the last fit, it. Oh my god, I can't speak. Last finishing touches. Finishing touches, and then I'll swap it to K. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm going. Oh, oh whoa. it's flashing. Oh, I'm fixing the holes in her eyes, I guess. Yeah. Or maybe that was you. Oh, there oh wait, actually this I, this might be me. There's holes. Oh, okay, yeah. here's adjustment layer. Okay, so I was like really mildly confused and for a long time she was kind of gray and like I couldn't figure it out because I didn't know which like adjustment layers to use. Um, here I am adding some space between the bangs. Yeah, and then oh my gosh. I don't know what was happening here, but like I think I wanted to add like like a little bit of a highlight in a different adjustment layer. So I had to like blend them out. No, so do they you remember? Didn't overlap. Do you remember which adjustment layer you used? Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe color. Maybe or something. I probably used color, saturation, difference, and then like I messed around with like like the hues and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And then I also like colored the eyes and like as I was coloring it, I like added a slightly lighter part for the eyelashes because I thought it was cool. I also think it's cool. E. You're probably almost done, right? I, th I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm, d I'm done. I was like, oh yes, beautiful. Yes. And then I saw like um, Elle's and hers was so much more saturated than mine. And I was like, oh, I can't believe this. Yeah, but it was very interesting because that how like how fast the coloring took. Yeah, normally I take a it, lot longer. Yeah, because all the values are already there and it just needs to be colored. So yeah. That's pretty cool. So that was yeah, that was cool. Okay, so now we'll move on to K's. Yes. yes. Okay, so mine. I actually like how mine looks a lot more in the beginning. She progressively like gets older as I keep going and shading, but um yes. I am actually kind of surprised 
at like how detailed I decided to go. Um, uh, preferably, I wish I went a little bit less detailed, but you know, it's okay. And I wish that I like added some like more eyelashes, but the reference I was using was originally a guy. And I think I was like, oh, I can't brain, no. Yeah, but so, right yeah. now it looks more like a sketch, right? Yeah, it does. And you liked it better that way before you added all the shading? Or, yeah, yeah. I like, I like this very beginning shading and then I just, I was like, I gotta keep going. And then I think I reached the point of, I, I was going too realistic. There's a nose. a nose. We don't usually draw those. Yeah. Like, of actual nose. Yeah. <laughs> With nostrils. <laughs> With That's nostrils. crazy. Yeah, bro. And, and now I'm going, I'm like smoothing it out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of interesting how different both of them looked from our usual styles. Yeah. It was super different. I also like, um, I used like more lighter colors than Elle did because she used like, I guess, harsher lighting. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, my reference was also like, she was in pretty dark, like a dark place. Yeah. Oh and my also, gosh. there was like a dramatic shadow. On here's, her face. here's me struggling because I didn't want to do actual clothing in black and white. So I was like, oh yeah, turtleneck. And then I was like, that's a lot of them black. So then I, I change it later. But right now I'm like messing with her head shape. I was like, huh, it's kind of big, kind of it's round. It's kind of funny what's below her hair. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the, the unblended mess. Oh, oh, look, skin. It's becoming sleepless. Revealing, wow. ooh. Ooh, shoulders, ooh. arms. It's smooth. <laughs> it's very smooth. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm exposing myself. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I like, oh wait, actually, I'm, I think I already made it neater. I can't tell. I made the hair neater. I like- Are those strands or shadow? Those are strands, right? Strands wow. and, and shadow, yeah. Yes, question mark? I, this would have been easier for me if I got like a better hair reference instead of just like going for it, but I was going. Well, yeah. kudos to you for going. Mm -hmm. You didn't I, have any reference at all? Well, I had like a reference, but it was like at a different angle. But basically she had strands coming down and she had like a low bun and I was like, yes. That's cool. I, I can do that. I think mm. you're making the hair neater right now. Yeah, but like honestly it was fine. I could have just left it and saved. My yeah. That that side of the hair that I'm doing right now, I struggled and I, I should have just left it. But I'm going, I'm going. More strands. More strands. More strands. Because over detailing, yes, let's go. Well, I don't think this is the over detailing. I think we're gonna I, get I'm there later. There. Yeah, I think this her bun. Beginning. I think her bun looks cool. Yeah, though. that that part looks cool. Her bangs, I think, was where you went over detailed. Yeah, bro. I should. I left. I should have just left it. But I was like, oh, shading. How do you do that? I don't know. I uh, yeah. I did. I did neither. Do you? I still don't know. No. Oh, I didn't think so. No, but I know that I, it's not that way. Here we go. Here we go. Like here, I could have left it right here, bangs, and it would have been amazing. Bangs. But I kept going. More bangs. More bangs. More bangs. hair strands. More strands. Mm, yeah. <sighs> I mean, I think it looks not that bad though. It looks Yay. cool to me. And then when I added adjustment layer, like the lighter strands became a different color than the darker ones, and Yay. I thought that was cool. Yeah. I think I'm just doing like last minute things. OMG earring. Confusion on which earring to do. Oh, oh and then, yeah, I realized I wasn't like completely black and white. Okay, so here I, I go with my color layers. Yeah. I think I at then after I did one color layer for everything to get it sort of the color I wanted, I started using like maybe screen and color dodge to make it more saturated. And I put screen on like the lighter parts of the face and then also use color dodge. I think I used some multiply in the shadows of her face um, to make it like redder and like darker in those parts. Mm -hmm. I wish I didn't change her eye color, but I wanted to see if I could. The yeah. answer is I could, but should I have um, done in, that? In my opinion, I liked her with brown eyes, but you know, she's she's still pretty. Yeah, but there she is. Yeah. I, at, at the end, I probably, I think I used like the hue saturation changer thing tool. I don't know what it's called exactly, yeah. but it basically changes like the highlights of the drawing. And like you can adjust the highlights midtones and the shadows like differently and make them more, more of a certain color like bluer and I definitely made the shadows bluer and the highlights yellower and I thought it looked pretty cool especially yeah. in the hair you can see it more in the hair yeah 
I think it was a very pretty man. So overall, o this office yeah. lady question mark. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a pretty office lady. Yeah, pretty office lady. Yeah, but overall, this challenge was pretty cool. It was like a super different process. Yeah. And I'm surprised at like how far both of us were able to go. I know it didn't take like as long as I thought it would, and there wasn't as much yeah. struggle involved. And they both came out way more realistic than how we usually draw. And the yeah. colors, not so bad. An interesting process. I don't know if I'd make it. Our actual process. Yeah. But, but I mean, it, it was cool. It was to cool explain. to try. I'd probably try it again sometime. Yeah. It it made like deciding how to shade faces easier for me later when I drew after this. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Bye. Bye.